They are mighty warriors from ancient Japan. Their fates brought them to face great challenges and perils. Their lives are filled with drama, tragedy, and triumphs. Their world mixes real history with fantastical events. They are ronins, they are ninjas, they are monsters, knights and priests. These samurai spirits have gone through so many changes and developments throughout the years of the franchise's history. These are their stories. These are the Bushido tales. Originally created to be Haomaru's rival, in an homage to the real-life rivalry of Miyamoto Musashi and Sasaki Kojiro, Tachibana Ukiyo's story took a different turn. Shrouded in mystery, love and tragedy, Ukiyo's story is the strongest romantic tale in the history of fighting games. So let us find out why this gentle samurai spirit is a fan favorite among the large cast of Samurai Showdown. Often silent, the calm nature Tachibana Ukyo is a master of the deadly fighting style of Shinmozu Itoryu. He is fast, cunning, and strikes without hesitation. His signature move is the fiery and deadly Tsubami Gaishi. Trained by the legendary master Sakon Kokorochi, Ukyo is a well-mannered warrior who sees beauty in all of life. While he likes being by himself, he hates being truly alone. Although always chased by women, Ukyo never found the one person he would truly want to share his life with, but that would soon change. One day as he was roaming the streets of Kyoto, Ukyo Tachibana met a noble woman by the name of Kei Odagiri, a gentle spirit that shares Ukyo's views of the beauty of life. The two would fall in love and long for each other as fate gets in between. Due to Kei's noble family, Ukyo felt he is not worthy to be her husband, but that would not be the only obstacle to their relationship, as Ukyo started falling ill, coughing blood, and feeling his days are numbered. Ukyo, thinking about what he could do with the limited time he has to live, decided to return to visit his teacher, only to learn that his master's offspring and soul's successor, Yumeji Kukorochi, has fled the village and joined the rebel general Gao in his war against the Tokugawa shogunate. To show his appreciation for his master's teachings, Ukyo decides to find Yumeji before it is too late. As he fought his way to Hinoa, Ukyo finally caught up with Yumeji, and after an intense battle resulting in the defeat of the rebellious child, he requests Yumeji to go back to their master. Afraid of the humiliation, Yumeji asks Ukyo for a mercy kill. But Ukyo decided to only cut the child's ponytail. And ordered Yumeji to go back to the village and forge a new life. Feeling his body getting weaker, Ukyo decided to do one last thing for his beloved Kei, bringing her the mythical most beautiful flower which is said to only grow between the realm of the living and the realm of the dead known as the Makai. As the threat of Shizuka Gozen loomed, Ukyo decided to find the source of his evil, to both end it and to hopefully be able to get the forbidden flower. His story would be similar in both Samurai Showdown 2019 as well as the first game of the series. Upon getting the flower after Shizuka Gozen and Amakusa's first defeat, and presenting it to Kei, he found out that this was not the perfect flower he hoped it to be, as its petals started falling down. It turned out that the eternal blooming flower he wants for Kei does not reside between realms, but actually within the Makai world itself. Determined to bring the flower to Kei before his death, Ukyo Tachibana set on a longer journey. As he ventured to an unknown destination, Ukyo decided to visit his teacher one more time, only to find that the legendary mentor and his entire village have been massacred 
by what witnesses called the demon. Deciding to avenge his master, Ukyo joins the brave samurai spirits who took on the threat of the human demon known as Zankuro Minazuki. Upon Zankuro's defeat at the hands of Shizumaru and Haomaru, a bigger threat emerged in the form of Mizuki Rajoshin. When the mighty warriors realized that they would need to go to the Makai to defeat Mizuki and Ambrosia once and for all, Ukyo decided to join the fight in hope of getting the eternal flower in the process. After successfully retrieving and offering it to Kei, Ukyo asked his lover to move on with her life, get married and forget about him as there will be no future with a dead man. Both heartbroken, Kei and Ukyo take a different path as the two would never see each other again. Few months later, the dying Tachibana Ukyo met another woman who shares his illness, the kind and young Osaki. The two would develop feelings for each other and as Yuga the destroyer made his presence known, Ukyo heard the legend of a cure for his and Osaki's illness. Using his last strength to help the forces of good take on Yuga, Ukyo finds the cure, but to his surprise, it was only enough for one person. Being the selfless man he is, Ukyo decides to give the cure to Haomaru to deliver it to Osaki, helping the young woman to live a longer life. After Haomaru left, Ukyo's laid on the ground, thinking about Kei as he draws his last breath, hoping to one day be reunited with his true love in the afterlife. Years would go by and an older Kei Odagiri looks at her granddaughter. As the snow falls, she tells her the legend of the snow flowers. Once lived a brave warrior named Ukyo. As his soul passed on to the next world, Ukyo would use his divine power and sword every winter to cut pillars of ice, making snowflakes and snow flowers. But what the grandmother did not say was that the reason why Ukyo was cutting the ice every winter in the afterlife is to sculpt an eternal frozen statue of his true love, the woman herself, Kei Odagiri. I hope you guys enjoyed this Bushido tale story. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so and I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort and being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael and Brian Tiard. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Heinz Green 3, Refugio Robles and Felipe Guiomara. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now Patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become Patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to Patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.